It's my great pleasure to welcome all of you, all the friends of the microwave community here in Berlin for this conference. It's the 26th European Microwave Week, and it's the first one in Berlin. It was a big effort for us to move it to Berlin, but we are very happy that we made this happen. And as you might have experienced, Berlin has a real airport now. They have a nice conference center, as you're seeing. So it was the right time to move here, I think. Let me talk a little bit about the conference. As all the other 26 or 25 European Microwave Weeks, we have three conferences we offer to you. The UMIC is already, I don't want to say over, but most of it is over. And we have uh, 536 registrations. European Microwave Conference starts now with this opening. Registration number is over 900. And Eurat will start tomorrow, and we already have over 600. So it's working out nice. And we also offer the three forums, as we, as we do since a few years. They all have 200 registrations each. So I think it's uh, very successful this year, as always. Um, we offer some workshops, student schools, women in engineering, inter-society panels. And we have a very nice exhibition, which I'm sure you already saw, because you had to walk through it. Uh, I can tell you that the exhibitors liked to have the sessions here, and everybody walks through the exhibition. So that's one speciality in Berlin here in our conference center. Let me tell you a little bit of, about a few specific um, events I would like to point out. One is we have a joint Women in Microwave and Young Professional event, which starts right after this session. So there's no break, but don't worry. They will offer lunch boxes there. And they will have great speakers. You see the six uh, panel speakers here. So please enjoy this event. And it also includes some sightseeing tour. But if I'm correctly informed, it's already booked out. So it seemed to be very attractive. Right after that, this evening, I invite everybody here to our welcome reception. It's actually in the same area, Messe Berlin, but it's on the other end. So most people will probably walk there together. But uh, for some who don't, we have a bus from here to this palais where we have the welcome reception. Another thing I would like to point out is because I personally spend a lot of time in organizing it. We have a gala dinner tomorrow. There is some tickets left. You can get them from the help desk. Sally is happy to um, sell them to you. And we have a show there. We have music, nice food. Hope you enjoy it. It's actually in a tent, but it's a permanent tent. And it's right few hundred meters from the German government. So you're exact. You can see the office of our chancellor from there. There's one other thing I would like to point out. We, because we spent a lot of time in it and made it a little different from the last years, we have a student career event. And our student career event is a little different. If there are students here, please go there. It's tomorrow. It's from noon to 3 PM in the registration area. We will have little booth with those companies you see here, and you can get information about your career opportunities, things like that, and you can get a ticket for the career party. And I mean, Berlin is the city of clubs, is it? So we booked a Berlin club with music, dancing, DJ, everything. So that's for students. So I hope you will all come, and the thing will be as full as the Sunday dinner we already had. That was really nice. The last thing I would like to do as a general cheer here is I would like to say something about my team, because the first thing I can say, I had the best team ever. I think Luca said the same thing probably, but I'm very proud of my team. And since in those three conferences, we usually see the photos of the conference chairs, I thought I will show the hidden team. That's the hidden team. <laughs> and there is more. There is for sure more team members, but I picked these because those were the most important ones for me to take workload from me. So you can see my co-chair, general TPC chair, he's here. The treasurer, very important position, but you never see him. And then operations officer, local arrangement chair, publication chair. Those three probably had the highest workload from all. And I think, and then there's the grants chair, sorry, <laughs> Thomas. And I, I had not, no idea how much work Visa is. So that was a critical point. So this is um, these poor people, but obviously it makes sense to look at the whole teams. This is the team this year. And one other thing which we did new is 
we had a volunteer program, and we ended up with 160 volunteers. So all those people with the green vests, um, they have to work only two days, but they get more days, the hotel from us, and party, and all these things. And I hope that they will like this conference and enjoy it and come back next year when it's in a new location. So thank you very much. And with this, I would like to wish everybody a nice time in Berlin, a nice time on the conference. So I hope you enjoy both the city and the conference. Thank you very much. The only thing left for me is to introduce the next speaker, which is the Vice President of the European Microwave Association. Luca Peregrini, it's all yours, please. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Thomas, and uh, I'm very pleased to welcome all of you on behalf of the European, uh, European Association and of your President, uh, Dr. Van den Bogart, and uh, uh, I would like to really, sorry, Okay. Uh, no, no. Okay. It's, uh, I would like to really. Uh, oh, sorry. This one. Sorry. <laughs> I thought you were there. I would like to really thank Thomas and uh, uh, the whole team for setting up this event. I did it last year. I know what is what tremendous effort is to to organize this week uh, and uh, how many details and uh, large uh, events you have to organize, which is really really time demanding and. Uh, and it, it, it takes something like three, four years to organize. Therefore, thank you very much uh, from our side. Actually, uh, just a few words about, about uh, UMA. What is UMA, the European Micro Association? Probably uh, most of you know because we are here and you should know that uh, UMA is a non-profit organization that uh, essentially has the scope to promote uh, uh, the microwaves uh, uh, in Europe and worldwide, essentially. We have roughly 1,000 members and uh, we, our intention the intent is to serve the micro community, organizing things and trying to help uh, getting together to uh, improve our activities. Uh, the main uh, asset of uh, the European Micro Association is definitely the European Micro Week, uh, which uh, uh, is uh, the, the biggest effort we make to, uh, for, in terms of organization. But we have also other activities like editorial activities. We publish a journal, we publish white papers and uh, uh, a book series. We have uh, uh, student activities and we uh, are trying to push more and more student activity. Uh, here, uh, the team did a great job in organizing also this career event, which is uh, uh, gathering a lot of, uh, of students, but also uh, the volunteers that are in some cases very young and come here and see the show, and uh, they are attracted by our community. This is very important for our future. And uh, we also have uh, started webinar series that uh, uh, apparently are very successful. And. Uh, uh, the European Micro Week is uh, uh, an event that is uh, reached this uh, 26th edition now, and this somehow was uh, started putting together the uh, GAS conference at the time and the European Micro Conference, and then it grew up uh, with a lot of events. Now we have seen from Thomas there is uh, uh, three conferences, three forums, uh, workshops, uh, uh, student activities, uh, inter-society panel, a lot of really a lot of activities and. Uh, I, I'm, uh, I'm sorry that you cannot attend most of them because they are unfortunately overlapping because the time is limited, but it's a very, very successful event. And this is the second largest event in the world uh, on microwaves. We have a large exhibition, which is also uh, very important for, uh, for the visitors and, of course, for the companies that uh, stay with us year by year, year, year after year. And the, this week, uh, essentially, uh, uh, go around the Europe uh, uh, visiting uh, different cities, different countries, countries, uh, and uh, you can see here the, 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 the logos of the previous event. Uh, as I said, we are very proud to support uh, uh, young professional activities, and uh, essentially uh, this is uh, uh, an initiative. Actually, we have a group that we call, we call Innovation Team. Uh, it formerly, it was the Young Professional uh, Group, but then uh, we, we decided to change the name, and really they bring in innovation because they, uh, they meet, they uh, brainstorm and suggest to the board new initiative, and uh, this one was one of the very successful that we started, uh, I guess, three years ago, if I'm not wrong, and uh, we received more and 
more application from uh, uh, year to year, it means that it's very successful if we think to enlarge this uh, initiative. And uh, uh, for this year, the, the, the application are still open, therefore I really invite the young uh, student, the young uh, the student and young professional here to apply for this, uh, go to the website and, and try to understand what it is. Essentially, you get a grant for uh, uh, spending a ta uh, some months in another uh, institution or company, and therefore you can uh, make new link uh, for your future career. Uh, we are on social media, again, thanks to the young professionals that are very active, and, uh, and uh, therefore you can uh, follow us, essentially, in, uh, uh, on social media. Then, uh, yesterday I've been at the UMIC uh, get-together. It was an amazing uh, event for those of you that uh, had the opportunity to, to come. And uh, what uh, I was thinking is that I really felt to, felt, feel home when I attend this kind of, uh, of meeting. And uh, it is not a matter of uh, uh, professional link. It's a matter of uh, making friends and meeting friends and uh, uh, making up a community. And this is what essentially you may want to do, is to make, bring people together to uh, really create a community that uh, uh, go in the same direction and share ideas for, the, uh, for improving our future. And since we are a community, we cannot uh, forget about people that are in, uh, uh, today in a critical situation. We all know that uh, the world is back to Europe and uh, uh, the situation is uh, quite critical. And, uh, of course, uh, we can do something, not too much, but uh, as a community, as a scientific community, we can for sure support our colleagues, our Ukraine colleagues, uh, so that they can continue their work, they can still continue to attend events. And for this reason, we essentially set up some program for uh, letting them to uh, continue their activity in some other European lab in, on the one end. We provide grants to attend the events like this one, but not only this one. We waive the registration fee so that they can, uh, as much as possible, come to uh, and continue their activity in spite of the very, very critical situation in, uh, uh, in Ukraine. And uh, essentially, the main idea behind this is that uh, we are really a community of human beings and what we have to do is to uh, break walls and uh, uh, make bridges, which is probably this is the best city to say this because uh, you know uh, the history of uh, Berlin. Therefore, uh, I hope that uh, uh, the colleagues that are here from Ukraine will enjoy and uh, uh, can continue their, their activities. I'm sure you will enjoy the uh, European Macro Week 2023 in Berlin. This is the first time in Berlin. Very nice city, very, I would say, exciting city. Everybody wants to come to Berlin, and we decided to move the conference. Thomas pushed for this, but uh, we are all happy of that because, uh, as you see from the number, from the attendees, from also talking to people, you see everybody is happy, and therefore this is the best uh, for uh, the best uh, uh, we can have for uh, our community. Therefore. On, my, on behalf of the whole European Market Association, I would like to uh, enjoy you to enjoy the, the week, to share ideas, to make friends, and to network, because this is the reason for these events. Thank you very much.